Hello. Hello, is this Dylan O'Donnell? Yep. What's going on? Oh, good day. It's Professor Nobby Roberts here from the Royal Museum Greenwich calling. Uh, how are you? Good, good. Uh, I'm just calling about your entry to the Astrophotographer of the Year Awards. Do you have a moment? I just have a few questions about some of your entries. Sure. What's up? Well, first, let me just say marvelous work, really spectacular photos. We thank you for taking the time to submit your images through the website. Yep, no worries. Now, when you uploaded your images, you saw there was a uh, title field where you can add a title to your photography. Yeah, I did that. Yes, yes, you did. And don't get me wrong, some of them are really... Mm. I called M16 Nebula Cosmic Creation. Yeah, that's a good one. See, that's the sort of thing that people usually put. This year we had 300 images with the word cosmic in the title. So, what's the problem? Well, yes, that one's fine, but I'm, I'm looking now at your lunar eclipse shot, and you've called that one, There Is No God Bitches. Sorry, did you want the target name in the title, or can I put whatever I want there? Well, no, I mean, yes, I suppose you can put whatever you want. It's meant to allow some artistic expression, some poetry and context to the image. Cool, yeah, that's what I did. Yes, but, okay, here's one of MGC1981 called Ghost Gumby... Shards of Rainbow. <laughs> Pretty spot on, eh? Um, I mean, look, that's not the point. For the Rosette Nebula, you've written the title, Have You Met Auntie Flo Yet? Yeah, good one. <sighs> uh, for Horsehead, you've got... Elon Musk hates space. He's just trying to get laid. Do you see the problem here, Mr. O'Donnell? Huh? For the Triffid Nebula, you've just put no butt stuff unless question mark, question mark, question mark. Visual metaphor. Bouncing on Weinstein's couch in Epstein's house. Topical. For M31, you put the number 104 followed by 22 zeros. That's how big it is, in millimetres. <sighs> my mate Dave is a cunning linguist. That's a pun. Has anyone seen my guitar pick? Yeah. Have you? This one's just called The Entire Universe is sponsored by High Point Scientific. Thanks. They have to pay me now. What? Mr. O'Donnell, you've got a picture of the moon called America f year coming again to save the mother day year. That's a quote. Galaxy McGalaxy face. Perfect. Stinky clouds for Jesus. Methane emission. Let me put my brown dwarf in your black hole. Science. It's a long way to the shop if you want a sausage roll. Classic. The N word in Paris, except it's in space. This is only a good song, really. Look, I can't even read this next one because it goes for a thousand pages. You've pasted in the title field, literally the entire Bible. Yeah, your web developer should have put a limit. You've ended one title with an apostrophe, a closed bracket, a semicolon, and then an SQL code injection that took down our entire database and wiped everyone's entry except for yours. Your web developer probably should have escaped and sanitized the form inputs. Another one here is just the eggplant and drops emoji. Yeah, I like that one. This one says, do not go gently into that good night. Yeah, that one's okay. But what about this one? Hey, dickhead, give me first prize. I need the money for a bigger telescope. If I get a bigger telescope, I'll take better pictures, so it's win-win really, isn't it? Just a title. Just a title. Or is it? Yeah, nah, it's just a title. Pluto is a planet. It is a planet. Next one's called D4. Night to F6. D's galaxies. Targeting the youth demographic. Michael Jackson. Yeah. That one's pretty bad. You've got one here called Mumble, 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 Something, Something, Mumble, Mumble, Something, Mumble, Gucci. That's a commentary on modern music. What's that got to do with space? It happens in space. Everything happens in space. The Statue of Liberty Nebula you've called Your Mum. Ha, gotcha. How do you mean? The Statue of Liberty isn't a real name. It's just something someone came up with. It's a title. We can call it whatever we want. And how is that relevant here? Listen, Professor Roberts, I think it's great you allow us photographers to add some artistic poetry to the title. Not everything has to be M16 or M42. It really lets you add a final bit of yourself to the creative process beyond the technical exposures where the creativity is really limited. It covers the distance between you and the viewer. It lets you move your thought from your mind to theirs. It may be the most creative part of the whole process which is really very technical and can take months from start to finish. It's the most earnest contribution an artist can make. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me the privilege to add that personal stamp to the work I've spent years trying to master.
You called one, tickle my balls, or this is never going to end. Can I get a refund? Yep.